what up here's how the wagon r looks with its new wheels sadly because i wasn't patient though these 175 70 13s just rub a little too much so i have some 155 65 13s coming in the mail this weekend but besides that i really love the fitment i kind of wish that they actually worked because it feels in the wheel gap a lot you can only fit like three fingers in there it looks nice and flush it doesn't stick out too much so let's get into it this is a 1996 ct21s non-turbo front wheel drive suzuki wagon r it is an auto three-speed automatic starts right up i put some gas in it yesterday to 25 dollars and i guarantee you i restarted the uh, the trip thing too i guarantee you this is gonna last me like two weeks i love how good k cars when they're automatic are good on gas because you can't really rub them out like crazy like k trucks and like i do on my van and it's just i know it's gonna be amazing on gas but we'll do a quick little walk around it's a three door you can fit four people in here pretty comfortably i think something cool about the back seats too i don't know if people know this about wagon arms but you see how it's kind of in a standard position you can push it back and kind of lean some more you see like you could actually like i wouldn't say lay back here but look how much room like someone can sit back here like this <laughs> like look how much room i have if you're just like chilling with the headrest all the way back here so i think that's pretty cool something i really like about the wagon r that i didn't realize till i actually owned it is that i know it has a hood but it's probably like a foot long but that plus this extra long dash makes the cabin very quiet compared to my bravo across the street like it's it's loud in here but you still get a nice little exhaust note it's not as good as a bravo not even close but all right so let's start this drive safety first the car's pretty warm With these tires, it does rub a little, but it gives it an enormous amount of grip. Like the slightest little, and it's like the car is getting tossed around. I think I wanna do like the two camera setup. So we'll switch back and forth. But right now, as you can see, I'm kind of just driving normal speeds. I'm going 40 kilometers, probably in third gear, honestly, my last gear. But this thing does pick up. Like you can go 100 kilometers an hour. People always ask, can you drive these on the highway? Living in New York, this is what 90% of my highway drives look like. So I don't really live in like Florida or Texas where everyone is always going fast. So this is pretty much a very normal drive. I don't mind driving on the highway knowing that I'm not really gonna be going slower or like in anyone's way just because there's so much traffic. Yeah, let me pass this guy. Again, I'm on going 30 kilometers an hour right now, very normal. This is why I love the fact that it's automatic too. Like hate on automatics all you want i agree automatics are trash when it comes to sports cars when it comes to k cars or even a k-van k-truck well a k-truck not really but like who cares when this car is never going to be fast i'm never going to be like wow i'm going so fast i wish i was shifting no it doesn't really make a difference i would never buy an automatic miata or like a freaking rx7 or supra that makes sense it's a sports car this is not a sports car this is just a regular little commuter car to save some money in taxes japan <laughs> autos are really not that bad a couple things i love about the wagon r2 um i know it's supposed to be a pov drive but to just speak about this car is that it has central locks which i didn't even know and then of course like the one click power windows that's a really big pro to me it also has power steering which is another big pro to me all right so we finally got some straightaway right now you can see i'm doing 60 going uphill i'm not really punching it just yet Got a truck next to me, I'm about to pass him. Now I'm going 80, 5,000 on the RPM. Not much different than my Bravo. Anyways though, still in traffic, um, 
I haven't really had a chance to open it up just yet. Hopefully after this I can. But the car, like I said, it's just, it's really normal. Like, it's quiet. The fact that you have a dash and hood really helps. Um, it's just cool. Like, the reason I'm selling my Bravo is because I wanted something that was very similar to my Bravo and cheaper, to be 100% honest. Because I really want to get out of my debt. Like, I spoke about this a bunch of times. I'm like, a lot of money in credit card debt building up way for the fame. Like, these videos don't pay for themselves. So... I wanted to still get the K car experience. I still wanted to take some homies with me. I still wanted to do all the fun stuff, but I didn't want to have that $12,000 thing. So if I can get this for basically half, I was like, okay, kind of does all the same thing. It's automatic, which is, eh, but you know, let's hope for the best. Let's hope the transmission doesn't blow. But I'm going to continue to just drive in this traffic. I believe up there I'm going to be able to go at least. 80 to 90 kilometers an hour so let's hope i can do that i'm really curious to see what the ride quality is going to be like when i change the tires because it's a little rough now but it's because these wheels are so big but let's gun it right now so we're going 60 just switched still pretty out right now my foot's not all the way down by the way it's like 75%. Alright, so we finally were able to do something speed wise, but like you know, it's not really loud right now. My what 90, that's about like 55 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour. That's kind of normal for New York. Look, I'm passing traffic with no issue. This spot, this is the sweet spot right here. 80 kilometers an hour, the car feels like it's on clouds. It's a little behind 5,000 on the RPM. It feels great right here. The transmission is kind of weird too. I'm not sure if it's a three or four speed because right now I'm going 50, right? But if I gun it, it'll switch again right there. So like, is it a four speed or does it just downshift? Not really sure but I, there's a nice straightaway right here so let's see how fast we can get this thing up to my foot's all the way down all uh, right 100 and again look i'm at 6,000 on the rpm do i want to do that for a long time no but it isn't terrible it really isn't bad like i think i could definitely do 80 90 and then like unlike a stick car you're kind of just sitting back i'm chilling if i have to break i have to break i don't have to downshift go back downshift go back downshift go back like it's really not bad at all and then look again cruising at 80. i don't know if comfortability is important to you guys but there's no like pillar here or anything like you can see my foot like i could have my left foot all the way over here there's nothing there so the car is pretty comfortable and now when you're back on the regular residential roads this is when the wagon R really shines being an automatic and just being a little small K car take the turns nice and smoothly and then boom I just break there's no going down second going out first neutral boom, boom, boom it's too much work guys too much work I want to remake this video at night because there's gonna be a lot less traffic and I'm able to go just faster because no one's gonna be on the highway but my cluster goes to 140 I don't think that's possible in this car I think maybe in the turbo all-wheel drive model that's a little more possible but I'm curious if this could even go like 130 I think it could hit 120 and I'll be at 7,000 like right before the red line but no way 140 like no way which would feel just crazy in the first place I've never even done that in my Bravo my Bravo max is out at 130 which I've done like a handful of times but 140 just that extra 10 is a big difference but now that we're like I said we're in the just regular blocks it's just cool to just gas brake gas brake if you're using a K car to do things like this it's amazing gas is amazing uh parking is amazing insurance is good because you use Haggerty. it's like i think i pay like 260 a year like all that stuff big big pro if you don't really need this car to go on long road trips this is just your little commuter car you only work 10 miles away or something i would 100 percent recommend a k car but if you want to do like road trips or you have like a lot of things like a lot of family members like i don't know if i would put my kid back here like, I don't know if, although, I don't know. I feel like it's meant to be when it's meant to be. Like, it doesn't matter if you're in a Model X or if you're in a K car, but um, this guy's trying to raise me, actually. So, let's drop it down to L. And let's see what the Wagon R can do. 
because you did not have to come next to me. This isn't two lanes. This is just one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get ready for this drag race right now. I'm in my zone right now. Give me a second. This could be the perfect daily and then I could just get another like crazier car like maybe a K truck or like a Jimny or Pajero or like Delica or something but I could always just rely on this to get me to point A to point B waste no gas especially in times like this and like just have a great still really really fun like driving experience too so I'm probably just gonna end this video here there should be a wagon on this block that I might be able to show you guys I always see him parked over here we talk about how we both have Cool JDM vans. I'll show him my wagon R. Nah, it's not here. Oh, that's scraping. Update on the raffle too, we're down to 70 slots, so most likely will be over this weekend. If not, probably early Monday, Tuesday. So catch you guys on the next one. Peace.